بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم آئی ایم ڈاکٹر محب اللہ وزیر اینڈ دا ٹاپک از پورٹو سسٹمک اینسٹوموسز آلسو کارڈ ایز پورٹو کیول اینسٹوموسز دیز آر دا سائٹس ویئر ویئر دی وینس فار ایگزامپل فرام ون آرگن سم وینس ڈرین انٹو سسٹمک وینس ویل سم وینس ڈرین انٹو the portal vein over here there is an astomosis between the portal and systemic veins this is these sites are being called as porto systemic anastomosis or portal cavern anastomosis where are these sites number one at the lower end of the esophagus look At the lower end of the esophagus, you look over here, please. The veins drain into the left gastric vein, which drains into the portal vein. While the other veins from the esophagus, it drains into the azygos vein. In this way, at the lower end of esophagus, there is an anastomosis between, at the lower end of esophagus, there is an in astomosis between the portal and systemic veins and in case of portal obstruction or portal hypertension over here these veins become dilated which is called as esophageal varices or varicose veins of the esophagus and if it rupture it may lead into a dangerous or serious bleeding okay now the second point where there is a portosystemic anastomosis is look at the lower end of the anal canal look the superior rectal vein drains into the, inf the inferior mesenteric and into the portal while the middle and inferior rectal veins it drains into the internal iliac vein in this way over here at the anal canal there is an astomosis between the portal and the systemic and if there is portal obstruction this ultimately lead into a dilated veins over here in the lower end of the anal canal look you can see these veins these veins these veins then may dilate and these veins if dilate then it is being called as hemorrhoids okay and then look the ascending colon the duodenum and the descending colon these are retroperitoneal so these retroperitoneal structures some veins from this the the veins of the large and the ascending descending colon and the duodenum it passes you know into the portal vein while some of the veins over here from the ascending and descending colon and right fracture and left colic fracture and the duodenum they unite are in a stomos with the systemic vein which drains into the renal or into the inferior vena cava in this way in the retroperitoneal parts of the ascending and descending colon and the colic fractures and the pank duodenum over here there is an anastomosis between the portal and systemic veins and then at the end you you don't forget that at the bare area of the liver posteriorly over here at the bare area of the liver some of the veins bare area of the liver some of the veins passes upward over here with the branches of the azygos veins for example the intercostal or the phrenic vein in this way at the bare area of the liver there is also an astomosis between the porta caval system this is portal and systemic nervous system and systemic venous system and then at the umbilicus you know over here around the umbilicus there are veins in the subcutaneous area these veins unite with one another to form one vein which ultimately leads along with the ligamentum teres along with the ligamentum teres 
in through the left branch of the portal vein. And in this way, these paraumbilical veins in the subcutaneous veins are connected to the left branch of the portal vein. And if there is portal hypertension, these veins around the umbilicus they get dilated and this umbilical dilated veins around the umbilicus this is being called as caput medusi okay and then lastly sometimes the ligamentum teres by itself that vein also may get remains patent and directly connect the portal vein with the inferior vena cava in this way the lower end of esophagus the lower end of the GIT, that is the anal canal, the paraumbilical veins, retroperitoneal of the ascending ascending colon, and behind the liver, that is in the bare area of the liver, these are the sites where there is communication between the portal and systemic veins. And what will be the effect if there is portal hypertension? I discussed in the next lecture. Thank you very much.